to about Shouldn't Dean Can we have got to the bottom and, and actually found out exactly what happened there? Well, I, I think that the only yeah. person who knows is Stephen Dank and he won't no, be No, 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 I think the players would probably know. They'd have the knowledge. Um, M Mark, Dean Robinson, mm. how did you feel um, having brought him to the club or one of the people who brought him to the club, worked with him <coughs> so closely, when you watched him on Channel 7 mm. unload really, on not so much on you, but certainly on James Hurd and say the things he did. Well, I think there's a lot of bitterness, Caroline. You, you look at the interim report and you think, oh, he's dumped on me and he's dumped on me, but that's what ha people do when they get you know, under pressure and try and defend themselves. So, um, did he go too far? I think he said a lot of relevant things that were, I think from my, what I know, um, were quite right. But then he said a lot of things that I didn't agree with. But that's just life in... Where, we, where we've been this year. This has been very public. The AFL said tonight it was made far too public and inferred that Essendon... The AFL said? Yeah, was significantly yeah. responsible by that. Do you, AFL said that Essendon was responsible. The, the AFL said in their press conference tonight that they regret the fact that this went publicly, but if they had to go toe-to-toe -to -toe on that, that they would because they didn't protect the integrity of the game. Do you feel... They need to protect the integrity of the game. Do you, do you feel this was trialled by media? I thought that AFL were like our partners in this, that we were one of them. And again, this is something that we have to, in the future, uh, start to educate, nurture, um, have better relationships. We should be real allies of the AFL. Like, they should have been in our camp. And but both teams were leaking, weren't they, through the whole thing? At the end, yeah, but at the start, like, like we, we actually didn't say anything. I've heard David Evans just, no, our strategy is just to say nothing. We've committed to a disaster and nothing happened. Then, exactly. bang, you know, like... Five people admitted in an investigation that uh, last week in the SART investigation, which is confidential, that uh, were treated by Steve Danks. It's hardly allied behaviour to take the CEO of the AFL and his number two to court and mm. threaten to subpoena their files. Well, how did that happen in the paper? How does that get out in the paper? Well, it was leaked to the Herald Sun. Yeah, but how does it get in there? Like, well, well, James's people leaked it and he had not there. We, we, weren't, we weren't doing anything. We, I mean, it just, I thought that but was... We were so well behaved, Caroline. It's, it's not... Now, this is, this so is that's, not, that's not a fair comment because we were so well behaved. Well behaved in, in terms of the confidentiality? Oh, everything. Like, we, were, we, we, we went and we were encouraged to tell the truth at this investigation, actually asking questions and talking about your personal life, giving it over, in knowing that it was confidential. Caroline, well, you, you haven't been able to understand that. I've been through my talks with James Hurd and Bruce Reid. Mm -hmm. I've tried to explain why they can't speak, and you mm -hmm. have reiterated consistently... They can speak. Why no, don't they speak? My, my, I thought it was very odd that James decided to leak details of his own evidence to Asada in an attempt to bring down the CEO of the AFL. Now, no one has denied that. And it just seemed to, have, to, to take revenge in that way when... When did all not, that start happening, Caroline? July. July, did yeah. it? Whether, whether or not um, Andrew tipped off David Evans or not, I mean, that's what, you, that's what allies that. do. Yeah, well, I don't see what that was, the big issue that's, was that's, well, it, Did you ever say to James it was a crazy strategy? Well, it's funny that the five people who knew what happened there are the ones that have been charged, so... Um, it's, what it's what happened with David Ian Evans? Robson wasn't charged. How, how did David Evans' departure come about? Are you, are you aware of David? It? Oh, no, he, he was just sick. Uh, he was pressure? just... Uh, pressure. It was too much. Poor old David. He, um, terrific bloke, and he was doing it all by himself, and it was, uh, in the end, it was a bit too much for him. I feel no, sorry for him. No yeah. school of it's thought... Um, that Essendon people thought that he was too closely aligned with the AFL? I think in anyone's world, to do it on his own was, 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 it was too big. He gave up his own work and his business to do it, and what a job. You know, this is the biggest thing he's brought ever. Um, and in the end, it just wore him down. Like he's seeing his two best friends' uh, reputation being destroyed. Um, yeah, it was just, I think it was a bit too much in here. The coaches were accused of taking supplements, uh, in some cases banned substances, varying mm -hmm. degrees of this. James, uh, Heard, Byrne, and I think Goodwin were the three. Carrie, mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Um, is, what's your understanding of what happened? There? I have no idea. I've never asked them. The only person I've asked is James, uh, when he got accused of having 30 of them. Um, um, Did he? Well, he said he didn't, and I believe it. Um, but I don't know for sure. Um, the fact that there was pressure put on him because of that is, is quite sad, you know, that we actually live in a society that that happens because we didn't ask him. We took the word off who. So like, Where did that come from? Well, just so on that, there were, well, mm. not just Stephen Jake, but well, we Shane Charter. Shane Charter was also... Oh, I thought that's how it came to life. 
Shane yeah. Charter was also interviewed in the process, who yeah. has a, a, a That's what I'm interesting background. Do, do, do you think that the evidence of everyone was taken equally? Do you think that some of the characters in this were, their evidence was treated the same as, say, James's was or yours was? I think everything in the report has been in the public. But whether a lot of that stuff that was talked about ended up at Essen or not is a different story. Like, and again, we don't know because we've just closed the door in the case. It's over. It's done. So we'll never find out. That name, Stephen Dank, Bomber, I'm not you know, within the club anymore, but the name Stephen Dank makes me angry. Have you been able to see him in person if you did bump into him? Yeah. You know, what would you do if you saw him? Are you angry towards him? No, I'm not angry towards him. I... I uh, I did bump into him. I was driving back from Paul Little's office one day and I he was pulled up next to a set of lights and I'm not sure whether... Oh, I'd been interviewed. It, was, it wasn't that long ago. Um, Paul Little was chairman, so I just uh, said, how's he going? And he's struggling too. But we're all struggling. It's not a good situation for any person in this. It's been horrible. And he started to welt up when I told him that the players just really want to know what, what happened. That's what... I, for me, Which is, you, can, is you can have all this stuff. It comes it's about the players. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Well, what, what, the what happened? Of this. That's what we wanted to find and out, that, and we still don't know. When that is, and that is the There's issue. There's been so much carnage because we're at war with each other. Yeah, mm. and, and, and we mm. should never forget that. And, mm. and I think what you're saying is that you concede that. We sit here tonight on the back of a seven-month investigation, and yet yeah. the, the, we people, don't know. the players still don't know. Yeah, and don't that know. is why, as, as angry as you can be with the process and, yeah. and all the other things, at the, at the end of the day... That is a failure from your footy club, and yeah. that's why we're in this position. Yeah, exactly. And we're sorry, but it Can won't you... kill us. It's, uh, it's going to make the players okay. stronger because gonna... they've lived through a year that they're never going to experience, and they've actually stood up. So... You've lost at least three players, two first-round draft picks and one second-round draft pick. You'll yeah. get a pick. So how big an impact is that going to have on you? Do you think there'll be other players that will want to leave? And is this... Well, if you ask Adrian Dodoro, it's going to just give him no chance, but... We, um, we still think that we can pick up players late in the draft, Hutch, if we do work. like The, the challenge now is to repay, repay the fine, uh, restore our brand, get our sponsors back on board, um, try and keep all our players and bring best, the best players we can with the picks we've got. That's, that's the challenge. So it's, it's not you know, as easy as if you have a first-round pick from a, for a couple of years, but nobody says it can't be done. We've got to believe it can be done. Last one. You've shown great leadership coming in tonight in difficult circumstances. I put it to you that if you're asked to be the coach, you, you haven't got it in your character to say no to it, that you'll do the job. You, you think I haven't got it in my character to say no? Yeah. I've done it before. In these yeah. circumstances? No, not in these circumstances. If James no, heard in these circumstances... You can't ask me right now. I'm, I'm, but do you yeah. feel obligated to have some role, though, Bomber, at the club next year? You can't walk away altogether, can you? Or are you contemplating that? You ask my wife over there. <laughs> she might have something to say. Okay. I'm like, no, nah, look, I, I said to Hurdy tonight, like, I just, we've just got to look after the players. They've been so good yeah. and they've put up with so much you know, bad stuff. Mm. So uh, we have to give them the best uh, conditions that we can, no matter what that is. It is a tough day and uh, it's good words to end this interview on. We know how difficult it's been over the period. Um, you weren't obligated to you come. What did you say then? We know how difficult You know how difficult it is. <laughs> We imagine. Oh, no, I don't know. Uh, no, no, that's absolutely right. Oh, yeah. We can only imagine no, how difficult it has been. But we appreciate it's you coming difficult. in, yeah. answering the questions, yeah. and we wish you well for this day forward. Yeah. Mark Bomber-Thompson, joining us live in the studio.